Sarah Diener, and today we're going to burp a Rotax engine. Um, this is an RV-12, which is a light sport aircraft. Um, you'll find that most light sport aircrafts have a Rotax engine, um, and these are a little different from a typical Lycoming or Continental. Uh, one of the differences is that it's a dry sump engine, and dry sump engines have a, an oil tank that's separate from the engine, which means it needs to be pumped back and forth. There's a pump in the Rotax that takes the oil from the tank and brings it into the engine, and then the compression of the engine drives it back out. When it's been sitting for a while, like this one has, um, it gets cold, the oil settles in the bottom of the engine, and you won't get an accurate reading from an, um, when you check the oil. So you can see here, this has been sitting, and the oil is at the bottom of the range. And so what we're going to do is we're going to turn, um, turn this propeller um, and try to build up pressure. So you can do that by doing a nice slow stroke. Um, you, it, you don't gain any points by going fast. Um, and you're gonna feel more pressure um, around top dead center. So go real slow, feel the pressure, and then you, Feel it go, and you just keep turning. And we're going to keep turning until we hear a gurgle. Um, and uh, AOPA's A and P Carlo says it's kind of like a percolator, like an, a coffee maker. It pushes the air, pushes the oil, and when all the oil goes through, you get the sound of the air, and that gurgle is the burp. So while I'm turning, we can listen. And there you have it. We've burped the Rotax. So now we can get an accurate reading of the oil. Now, if you can see, it's all the way up here. 